you twice. Yeah. We're not blaming nobody. Let's lock the <laughs> in. Lock Let's look into the film. In this video, we will be looking at J. Ron Kurz, the vocal leader of this team on the defensive side of the coin. And he established himself during his offseason, during such of being a guy to get out there making things happen. Now, pay attention. Although the receiver was able to catch this ball, I still got to give credit to J. Ron Kurz for creating that pressure. And creating that pressure, this was in the earlier of the quarters, by the way. Creating that pressure goes a long way. And once these guys get on the same page, they will understand that, hey, we can start jumping routes because the pressure is there. Now, granted, Kurz is a guy that helps out everybody. He helps out Diggs on this tackle here. Speed, awareness, vision, tenacity that he brings to the table that I like to see. 27, making things happen. Now, midway through the game, he said, hey, let's not blame anyone. Let's lock in. And I believe when he said that, he gave that speech and motivated everyone. Watch how J. Ron Curves able to knife through there, disengage, disengage and get up field, square his shoulders, and make the tackle. I love it. Playing through the echoes of the Wilson. Watch. Square his shoulders. Get there. Make the tackle. Sling him out of bounds. This is everything. Knife's inside. Square your shoulders. We can watch this a thousand times. Textbooks. Get to the edge. Make sure you make them pay. Don't let them get a free escape. No. You got to pay their way. And you see it better from this angle. Knife through there. Disengages. Square your shoulders. Still make them pay. Sling them around. That's what I want. Impact. Tenacity. Make sure they know your name, by the way. And curse, this is what he do. Come down and feel. Yeah, be the aggressor. Although it seems as if though the running back kind of won on that one. But you still got to be the aggressor. Make sure you come down. Don't let him hit you. You hit him. Go down and make that tackle. That's what I like to see. Swear, get low, make the tackle. And we see that out of J. Rod Curse. And then watch this blitz right here. Run blitz and he get there. Make that tackle there. Not afraid to knife inside. I know some defensive edge guys that cannot get low enough and disengage. He got low, got there, and made that tackle. That's what I like to see, Cowboy Nation. Get low, squeeze, knife in there, make that tackle. Seal the edge off, flex on him. Lock in. Get everything that you can off the field. Get it off the field. Get There you go. Don't let them give it to you. You take it. Yeah, flex on them. That's what we like to see, that tenacity, that impact. Hey, it's contagious. Continue. Fight toward the quarterback. Make him pay. Intentional ground. That's what they should have called. You should have got a sack off of this one. Get around to the edge. Look at the quarterback right to dead. And I don't know how he got that off, but shout out to Mac Jones. He got it off. No one is in his area. No one. Come on. Come on, aficionados. Call that flag. This guy way over here now. Come on. He just threw this thing over here in the flats, basically. No one's there. No one's there. That ball should be intentional ground. He should give this man a sack, a loss of downs. But it is what it is. Watch. You can see it better off of this angle. Look. Come on now. What you doing? Nobody's there. <laughs> Nobody's there. Uh, I wish he would have got there a little bit sooner, and it would have been a real, real fumble. But... I still give credit to J. Ron Kurtz for getting off of that edge. Squeezing inside. Now, 94, one-on-one, -on -one, you know how that goes, right? And he just squeezes around inside. And <laughs> These quarterbacks, man, y'all better watch out. Once this team get a groove going and, and figure out the concept, what they're really going to do with this strong safety, because he's playing linebacker, he's playing big nickel, he's playing on the edge, and that J. Ron Kurtz is doing all of those things. Coaches know how to disguise that look. They know how to cover him, hide him, and they know how to put him at different angles. Good good separation right here to get downfield and make this tackle right here. So I believe in the hearts of hearts what the Cowboys are going to do with uh, J. Ron Curse is keep him at big nickel, keep him down and close inside. And then on top of that, what they're going to do with um, Malik Hooker, you've seen him on a few plays. I think he's on a pitch count, but he did a great job on this play. He will be your free. Him and Donovan Wilson will be your free. And I believe Malik Hooker will get his playing legs up under him. Maybe in a couple of more games, he'll be that established free. And maybe you can rotate him and Donovan Wilson. I like number 27 close along the LOS, playing inside that box, being an impact guy, blitzing off the edge, 
keep utilizing him in, in those ways, and everything will work its way out. As far as DeMonte KZ, I get it. A lot of people want him off the team. However, you got to look at it like this. Depths, everything. You, you give him a spanking, you say, hey, we're going to lower your time. You do an in-house punishment. In-house punishment, let him know, hey, we got Malik Hooker. Oh, excuse me, we got Donovan Wilson. Oh, excuse me, you got Izzy. You got all of these boys that's on your team that can fill in that spot, and then it'll be a wake-up call down the line for him. But everything else will work its way out because this team already got guys that's willing to play to show up and show out. And I'm not saying that DeMonte KZ is not that guy, but what I'm saying is let's figure out a way to put Malik Hooker back out there and put Donovan Wilson out there, those boys, and then you sprinkle in a KZ here and there. Maybe you put them on a special teams groove. huh? So this is what we got. We got a J. Ron Curse who's been playing lights out. I do not want to move him off the field at all. No, 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 no. I like his tenacity. I like his impact. I like seeing him play close to the LOS. I like even when he is playing in coverage, he's not afraid to come down and field. He can get there, change of direction. The team gravitates towards him, and they like him. He's, he's a genuine guy. Uh, is looking at some of the film of them in the locker room. He's always around the offense and defense. So that's a good thing. Continuity goes a long way, Cowboy Nation. And I believe that is what he's bringing to the table. Like I said, when we look at this play again, man, don't you know that this should have been, this should have been a sack right here, man. <laughs> and the way he burst and get off of that edge, Cowboy Nation, man. And I believe him in 94, they working something out together. I mean, when you put him on the same side, you know, 94 said, you got to ch- better, you better, you better chip me. If you come in, <laughs> if you let me come down that field by myself, it's over. Basically, I'm paraphrasing. So figure this out, Cowboy Nation. Uh, we really need to really take a look at uh, LVE, maybe on another film. And uh, as well as number 42, Keanu O'Neal. Uh, sometimes I just don't really see it, see it, but hopefully Hopefully it's just a little rust factor for him being out for that protocol stuff. And we will see some of those impactful plays, those impactful hits that we've been looking for, Cowboy Nation. Post me your thoughts. Post me your concerns down below of what we should do with J. Ron Curse. Do you want to keep him close to that LOS, playing that big nickel, flying off to the edge, disguised to make him the edge rusher on some plays, blitzing through the A-gap? Do you like all of that because his long length and his range – Hey, that's something to think about, Cowboy Nation. Post me your thoughts. Post me your concerns down below. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Let's lock in. Let's lock in. Right now, that's 11 of us out there that's got scored on twice. We're not blaming nobody. Let's lock the f*** in. Lock in. When I tell you guys, J. Ron Curse is a dog. He's the leader on his defense already. Salute.